Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time joining, thank you and welcome. If you're a previous subscriber, a new subscriber, or you're coming back to my channel from another video you've watched on my channel, welcome back. So what I am doing right now is I am trimming up all the baby quilt blocks. And I gotta tell you guys, I bought a new rodeo, rodeo? A new rodeo, rotary cutter and you can see here that it's made by Cricut and this is the package it came in it's a 60 millimeter and I usually use a 40 45 is that a 45 yeah 45 and this one was my first cutter and it's a metal one and it's made by Klaus and I purchased this about eight years ago from Walmart and it no longer locks the blade safely um, while you're using it. And it won't lock the, the protector cover over it when it's no longer in use. So I just keep it in a drawer as backup. And then this one was my next cutter. And I used to get a lot of neck pain. And I think it was just from the way I was sleeping. So somebody told me to try an ergonomic cutter and I found this one and it did help a lot because I was holding the cutter a little bit different and it had this nice protection for your hand and everything. So this is the one that I, I use now or I was using. And when I do my um, pressing and my, my little squaring up on, you know, if I have to make a minor adjustment to square up a block or anything like that. I was using this little, I think it's a 28 millimeter cutter and it's just really small and it's, you can see there, really nice small blade. This one's made by Westcott and I got this one at Amazon or um, Joann's. You can buy them on Amazon as well in different, this size and many other sizes. And I got this one, I had a coupon for Joann's and I said you know what I see a lot of people using these when they're just doing little minor trims when they're squaring up a block if they need to make a small adjustment and it does work really well for that but let me tell you guys I bought this cutter on Amazon because I heard well I saw um, several people on one of my quilting groups that I belong to on Facebook say that they really love using a 60 millimeter cutter now and truthfully I didn't know I didn't think there was going to be much of a difference between the 45 and the 60 and I really love this thing this thing is so nice I just trimmed up all these blocks and it went so quick I don't know if it was any quicker than the 45 but this thing is so nice and there's a new blade in this one and of course a new blade in this one since I just bought it but I just love how easy this trimmer cuts um, I don't know if it's because the blades are a little bit sharper a little bit thinner I don't know because they are made for a Cricut for cutting um, the vinyl and things for the Cricut so I don't know if the blades a little sharper or what but I am really in love with this cutter so far and I'm not sponsored by them in any way but I'm telling you guys I didn't mean for this video to start into a rotary cutter review but this thing is great I am going to definitely buy some replacement blades for it I will look on Amazon for those but Anyway, what I'm doing is I have, um, I think there's 14 of this block and I got those trimmed up really easily. And what I'm doing is I am gonna be trimming the rest of the blocks. I think there's 16 of this one. And what I did is with the little stitch line of the edge of the embroidery here, I'm just lining up my 3 8 of an inch mark and trimming all around the block. So when I do my one my quarter inch uh, seam allowance when I do these strips to connect the block 
Um, it's going to have just a little bit that the, maybe a scant eighth of an inch um, between the strip and the edge of the block. I didn't want to stitch right up to the very edge, so I thought three eighths of an inch would be fine. And um, let's see if I can find a piece of paper here and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, I can't find anything right off hand, but um, why don't we just use the block so you can see it? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know, I still don't know if you can see it. So here's your quarter inch line right here. And then this next little mark is your one eighth of an inch. And I'm just mark, I'm just lining that line up with the edge of the stitching of the block and trimming. And it's just, I think it's going to be um, perfect. So let me just show you on this one. And I, um, I, on this cutter, it's got a nice, you push it to uh, open it. And it's got that nice little click, if you guys heard that. So that's releasing it and, and putting the cover back over, but you push it and slide it backwards. And it's got that nice little click, lets you know it's open or if it's closed. And I really like that because sometimes when you're quilting, and you get into the groove, you kind of like lose your um, awareness sometimes, I guess you could say, because you just you just get in the in the zone and you just kind of don't think about it. It just becomes second nature. But you, you can hear that nice little click and it just kind of can reassure you that yes, it's open or yes, it's closed. And I'm just making sure these get lined up right. So when I get this quilt finished, I will be washing it. I wash, I pre-wash all my fabric and starch it. I kind of wobbled on that one a little. Hope it's okay. Let's see. Double check that. Okay, that's okay. Um, but well, I pre-wash all my fabrics and starch them, like I said, and um, then I pre, uh, then I, I when I'm finished with everything, before I gift to everything, I wash it and dry it again. That way, I can check to make sure there's no unraveling threads, um, no seams that are coming apart, things like that. But my question is, since this is going to be a baby quilt, I'm going to be using the All Free and Clear Laundry Detergent. Uh, is there a better option besides that? Um, somebody told me that I should just wash it with um, just plain water and white vinegar. But I, th I think I really want to kind of do the all free and clear. Um, what is your guys' opinion on that since it is going to be for a baby? Um, I do know that... Excuse me just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I keep on getting these scam phone calls. And I was told that... Answer it like you're a police department. So I answer it with the town that I'm in or the county that I am and say that it's the sheriff's department. And it is supposed to deter scammers. And so I do that and they hang up right away. And I am going to, if they keep calling me, I'm going to um, answer it like I'm, I'm taking a call and um, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I. I'll have to come up with something though to make it sound really good. And um, if you guys are familiar with some of the scams that are going on lately, that here in New Mexico, the um, some of the news stations are warning people that scammers are calling and saying it's. Um, uh, another police department and that they are um, calling to verify some information because you have a relative that is being held by the drug cartel and um, that they need further information so they can find the person or or rescue them, something. But it's this new scam that's going around. So it just cracks me up that they, they and I know people fall for it all the time because, I mean, you hear, hear that people do. But um, it's just funny that they're calling because my phone notifies me that it's a likely scam and that... Um, when you answer the phone that you're another police department, they're like, oh, wait, what? So, and on this last call, when I paused the video, um, I could hear, I could hear them kind of like intake their breath when I said that it was Bernal the, the police department. So, yeah, that was kind of funny. But anyway, it's just ridiculous the way people scam. And we are halfway done with this stack. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video or end the video here. Um, I thank all of you guys for just kind of <laughs> sitting here with me. Um, my little rotary cutter review that didn't, um, I didn't intentionally mean to be a rotary cutter review. But, um... Yeah, let me guys know what you guys think about the all free and clear washing um, baby items with that. Um, let me guys let me guys know if you have any ideas for future videos. Um, we will be doing some videos on completing the quilt. Um, we'll do some more videos on the Bumble Quilt Bee Quilt project that uh, I have started but didn't get get further into before I had my little break with the new machine. Um, so yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any new ideas. Um, if you are familiar with the channel, again, I have mentioned that I will not be doing a lot with the Brother SE625 machine. Um, I more than likely will be selling that machine because right now it is just a decoration on my shelf. And if somebody else can get um, use of that machine, I will be passing that on to them. Um, I have saw um, or have seen on reviews, or not reviews, but research on, on eBay that even used machines sell for $345 plus shipping. I think I bought I bought mine. A year ago, October, and I paid three eighty-five for it, brand new. So there's not a lot of um, change in that. I'm gonna, I'm trying to cover that glare there. Sorry. Um, there's not a lot of change in the price, but um, and I'm I'm going to try to sell it locally. That way, um, uh, there's not going to be a lot of shipping involved in that. I have original boxes, but or, um, and all the original pieces, um, accessories, and everything to it. I have extra hoops. So, but I will not be doing videos on that um, machine anymore because it's just I've outgrown the machine, and I do not want to put any more um, use on the machine if I will be selling it. So, okay guys, um, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, that lets me, lets me bring more and more videos to you guys. And um, 
It helps me get some um, collaborations with other companies because I get that subscriber um, count up. So it looks better for um, con uh, collaborations with other companies and I'm hoping to get a few more in the very near future. So yeah, um, we'll see you guys all soon. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.